All right, hey everybody, in this video, I'm gonna show you how to identify an herb of the parsley family. And this is one of my favorite plant families because it's so easy to identify, it's super common. And um, there are a lot of plants in this family that you probably already know, and a lot of plants that you probably didn't realize were all related. And this is also sometimes known as the carrot family. And the thing that I find so interesting about this grouping of plants is that it includes both plants that are very highly edible and, and tasty and nutritious, and it also includes some of the most deadly poisons that you really should know if you're going to be harvesting and doing anything with the plants in your environment. The infamous poison hemlock drink that took the life of Socrates is a member of the parsley family. So I have a bunch of pictures and things to show you of different identification features. And we'll also look at a list of some of the different plants that you can learn about as examples in the parsley family. So here I have a cross section of one of the most well-known plants in the parsley family. This is a carrot and it exemplifies all the same patterns that you'll be looking for in any member of the parsley family. There are a lot of plants on planet Earth that belong to this family and they all share similar botanical patterns that can be observed just by looking and using your eyes. You know, it's got this deep taproot that goes down and sometimes this is the edible part that, that people go for. Um, it's also got these leaves that kind of frill out and form little ridges and outcroppings. But um, probably the most significant indicator that you have found a plant in the parsley family is the presence of flowers forming compound umbels. And uh, you see the stalk coming up from the main plant. It emerges above the leaves. It spreads out into you know, 10, 20, 30 of these little clusters and then inside these clusters, each one of these little white bits is a flower that very commonly you'll see flies or ladybugs are attracted to these flowers. So a lot of people plant them in their gardens because they attract beneficial insects. And, and you know sometimes they're white, sometimes they're yellow. And anytime you see this pattern of what we would call a compound umbel flower structure, uh, parsley family should be very high on your list of potential plant groupings. Uh, the next thing that I would look at to confirm the identity is the leaves. You know, there's a little bit more variation in the leaves than the flowers. These are carrot leaves. These are curly parsley leaves. This is celery, um, which is pretty similar to what you would see on Italian parsley. And if you find the plant in, in the spring or early summer, you know, the leaves might be all that you have to go on. So what I always do when I spot a plant that has leaves like this, and I suspect that it could be in the parsley family, you know, just keep watching it as it evolves through the seasons. Wait till the flowers start to emerge, and then you can really be a lot more confident once you see those compound umbels start to open up. Um, the flowers at the end of the year in summer, of course, uh, will turn to seed and the seeds will turn brown as they ripen. So here's some dill seeds that I harvested just the other day. They look very similar to carrot seeds or lovage seeds or any of those parsley family seeds. So I'll plant them back in the garden next year. A brief list of parsley plants. We got everything from highly edible carrot, parsley, celery, dill, anise, fennel, parsnip. Uh, all the way to very nasty and deadly plants if you so much as touch them and forget to wash your hands like water hemlock or poison hemlock. So it's a very cool family um, because it does have so many edible and medicinal uses, but there should also be a big warning bell going off in your head when you see a plant like this. Um, you should also figure out the specific species it is before using it in any way. Uh, some plant families are, are pretty safe to use, even if you're not 100% sure of the species, but the parsley family is not one of those families. So it, it's really a lot of fun to just go out and, and practice looking for plants in the parsley family. You'll see the wild carrot or Queen Anne's lace on the edges of roads. You'll see tons of examples in most well-stocked herb gardens. Uh, it's a great way to just tune your awareness and learn a little bit more about botany and plant families and plant patterns. So now I'm a big geek about natural patterns on the landscape. And if you want to learn more about different patterns that occur in nature and, and being able to 
just look at a landscape and know just by observation how to make some really cool predictions about the plants and the wildlife of that place. I created a free video training called How to Read the Secrets of a Forest, and I would love to share that with you. So if you're interested in, in going deeper, getting access to that video, I'll put a link in the description with this video, and you can go check it out. Um, if you don't yet know me, my name is Brian Mertens, and I really do love learning about plants and nature. I've been doing it for about 10 years in a really intentional way. My goal is to share tips and lessons with you about how you can connect with nature and learn about nature with just your eyes and your ears and have a whole lot of fun in the process. So if that sounds like something that you wanna get in on, just go check it out. Feel free to share this video, help spread the word, and let me know your comments and questions. I uh, thank you so much for watching. I will talk to you soon.